Hi, this is Anthony with a tutorial on how to create a sketch video in Explaindio Video Creator version 1.0. If you're not familiar with Explaindio, you can check my video review on it. So the video that I'm going to show you in a moment is created using a sketch intro and an animated slide. And I'll show you step by step how I created it. It's a basic video, but I just want to give an example of some of the things that you can do with Explaindio. <laughs> So before I show you how I created the sketch intro, let me just walk you through some of the Explaindio basics. So I'm currently logged into the Explaindio software. So the section right up top is where you manage your video projects, saving, previewing, or creating a video and stuff like that. In this section just uh, below is where you manage the timeline of a project. And in this section to the bottom right is your canvas. And finally to the bottom left is where uh, you change various elements of your project like text, images, video, and animation. So I'm going to show you how to create the sketch portion of the video that you just saw. And um, I'm currently logged in to my um, Explain Deal version 1.0. I'm going to add a sketch scene, this one right here, and then I'm going to add a bitmap image. I'm going to choose this one right here, and it's going to let me take of a couple of seconds to to load because it needs to vectorize the image and once it's done vectorizing you will see a little sketch sort of uh, image so there you go that is the sketch image that it uh, sort of vectorized and then we're going to add it and once um, it starts loading it's going to bring the image right there then what I like to do is just like to lock it so when I increase it it increase it the size increases proportionally. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text right here. One portion right here. I'm going to add another text bit right here and a third bit right there. And this first portion I'm going to change it and rename it to port credit. And then I can increase the size. Increase the size there. Go to this one and change that to Mississauga, increase its size, and then here I'm going to name that Ontario, Canada. Okay, I'm going to place it that way. And I'm going to now close the canvas, and you will see that it's uh, as soon as I close the canvas, it starts sketching it. And also, as you can, you will notice right up top here in the uh, timeline section, there it's created four slides, one slide for each of the elements, the picture and the three uh, portions of text. So as you can see, the background is just white; it doesn't look so good. Um, and you can see this section right here, this panel to the left, you've got the scene, text, slide action before and action after. So the scene portion is um, you can essentially add um, you know a background image or a background video and the same thing you can do on the slide. The difference between the scene and the slide is that with the slide one you can when you add a picture or a video it, it adds it for that particular slide whereas the scene it adds it for the full scene as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a video to the scene to make it a little pop a little better. So you'll see that once I add the video, it looks pretty good with the picture in there and then of course you've got a, the live video behind. And um, what I like to do is in this action before, as you can see if I click on this, it'll start actually sketching that picture. I, you can leave it that way. What I'd like to do is if you look at these options right here, you can do nothing, sketch, sketch by hand what it's currently doing or fade in. So I'm going to choose fade in. So as you can see it fades in and I can increase the the duration right here. You've got these three sliders. Uh, action duration is when you increase the slider you can see it, slide, uh, it fades in and it takes uh, you know these 49, 94 frames. 
Whereas here, I like to sketch it. Now, this sketch is a little bit slow, so I like to increase the speed. So, in order to do that, I'm just going to lower, move the slider to the left and probably put it to 54 frames. Get this a little better. And I'm going to do the same thing here 52 frames. And I will do the same thing for this piece 52 frames. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to just uh, change this uh, text color to white. So you can do that right here. Change it to white. And then click on that slide. Change that text to white. Do the same thing here. Okay. And as you can see, um, that is pretty much that scene. If you, uh, if you do a preview, it's going to play the full scene. As you can see, it fades in. And then you will have the sketch. So that's how it, it works in terms of the sketch. You can then save either the project or just create a video. So you can check my video tutorial on how I created the animated slide portion for the video montage that you just saw. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, um, you know, feel free to leave your comments in the uh, section below. As well as if you've got any questions, uh, do the same. Thanks for stopping by.